Hello guys, this is Yerzi Shim from His Hunger and today I have the Thunder Tiger Ghost Plus on my review bench. So let's see what we have here. Big Phantom style quad. We have uh, a complete uh, RTF system. So we have battery, the copter, the radio and the phone. Of course the props. 11.5. You have a 6 cell battery, that means higher voltage. Higher voltage uh, combined with a low KV motor and big, big, okay, medium, medium sized props gives you an efficient system. So we have a 6 cell battery, uh, 5000 milliamp. In a custom case, you don't have to buy their batteries all the time, you can just buy another plastic frame and insert your uh, choice of batteries in there and this is the way they cabled the standard battery they supply all nice xt60 plugs and it's even prepared for uh, two 3s batteries in serial to get more voltage also have the balance plugs prepared in there and this is the balance plug with six cells that uh, you will use for charging. And this is the main plug that goes into the system here. So a pretty clever concept. Standard battery is 6000 milliamp 6S. So you can, I post you the dimensions, it's three and a half centimeters high. Uh, it's eight 0.4 centimeters in width and the battery is 14 centimeters long and the base around 16 centimeters long but as you see here you have some extra cables here and you can't use a 16 centimeter long battery maybe 15 centimeters would be the maximum 14 is, is, is good to fit in here you have uh, 450 kV motors that's low spinning motors, uh, quite big ones, nice quality ones. We will see what the relief flight times are, but I expect them to be around 12 to 15 minutes. Uh, the supplier says with, with uh, six cell, 6,000 milliamps, up to 25 minutes, but I'm a bit skeptic. Uh, with the gimbal attached, which is uh, 280 grams and another 100 grams for the GoPro, so it's nearly 400 grams. Uh, you will definitely go down to uh, 15 minutes. And those are retractable landing gears. It's one of the uh, cool features of this copter. And of course, the copter itself, 99% assembled. It looks like an uh, like a larger brother of the Phantom 2. Let's do a quick size comparison. Yeah, it's. Huh? The Phantom 2 is a bit smaller. You have a big battery bay in front. The mounts for the landing gear. Yeah, some nice LEDs. You also have this fat LED status thingy, which is the power, power on button and the status. Uh, you see the remaining battery capacity here, which is nice. This will be the stand for the compass. It's a bit inconvenient because it's, it's large and uh, Makes the cup larger. Um, radio. It's I would I would compare it to the Phantom radio. Also, this is not 100% fair because this one here has more knobs. It has two sliders or knobs for tilt and pan control. It has intelligent orientation control like the Phantom. It has takeoff, landing or return home mode. It sounds interesting. The retracts switch up here. A little switch where you can choose between mode one and two. That's nice. The binding button on and off. So pretty straightforward radio. Uh, what I find funny is you have a battery compartment for eight batteries, but they have a spacer because you only need six. Oh, 
that's interesting. Some extra space. Of course, these are normal uh, AA batteries. So I will just put in six uh, Aniloop batteries here. They are quite long lasting. It's a normal 2.4 GHz radio. Smartphone mounting. You can have your smartphone up here and uh, read the telemetry from the copter. Do some settings of the copter. So that's a nice option. And this is the Morpheus. Some of you might find my Schwarzenegger English funny. The LU. I could have started this video and uh, said get to the job up, but I didn't. 360 degree pan, 90 degree tilt and 45 degree roll. Here is the gimbal control unit. It's a nice black aluminium box, I guess. And all of this is really plug and play, so you just unscrew the bottom of the copter and you have the pre-configured cables, you just plug the cables in. I also have a charger here, because it's an RTF. It's a nice charger, it, you can change between LiPo and LiFE. Charge 1, 2, 4 or 5 amps. You can choose 5 amps, because this is a 5000 milliamp battery. You will uh, detect the cells itself via the uh, balance board. Pretty nice. I like the XT60 plug. Okay, it detects six cells. It shows a red LED for charging. So I also got the FPV system from them. It contains a monitor, uh, sender and receiver for 5.8. So that's really a, a nice way to get into FPV. Uh, you have this uh, RTF system, which is fine out of the box. Uh, you have everything you need, uh, the radio, the battery, you just need a screwdriver and finish it in a few hours. No, not even hours. And you can also buy from them a decent little 7-inch FPV monitor with a built-in receiver for 5.8, a battery in this, so you can charge this. Uh, you can mount it either as a slide-in style or you can screw it on a normal uh, Tripod mount, tripod mounting. It also has a sunshade with uh, Velcro sticky tape. You get two SPV antennas, one angled, one straight. The AV transmitter. So I don't think it's Fat Shark compatible. It, it to me it looks like different frequencies. So it couldn't be much easier to get uh, an FPV quadcopter. So that was my unboxing of the ghost from Thunder Tiger. In the next video you'll see a short build video. It's really easy and in fact I could assemble it all in one evening and even test it out afterwards. You don't need to look in the manual often, everything goes together nicely. So please also watch my next video from this copter where I'm gonna show you exactly how you assemble the landing gear, the gimbal, how you install the FPV transmitter, how the monitor works, how the gimbal works for sure. And finally I wanna do some flight tests and show you the footage you can get of this really nice and promising Morpheus gimbal. Currently I have sent it back to the vendor because the flight tests I already did were not so good. It was quite unstable and I think it was a partly defective unit. So I want to give them a fair chance to see what this system is capable of. And we also will take a look into the question what does this heavier system with more payload 
give you four options instead of flying with a Phantom 2 or some other lighter quad. So thanks for watching. As always, please subscribe if you didn't. Share this. Have fun and see you next week. Bye.